and I'm Nick, uh, co-creator of the Uller board, and I'm here today uh, in my backyard of Park City um, to show you how to set up uh, and play your Uller board. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at the parts package that comes with uh, each kit. Um, you'll notice when you open the green bag that you have uh, the Uller board itself, you have a ceiling screw, two mounting screws, the hook itself, and the string with the ring or the amulet as we prefer to call it, um, and a brochure. Um, within the brochure there's a lot of um, information about you know, Uller in general and, and, and all sorts of great stuff, um, but there's also a template uh, for mounting the board which makes it really easy. Um, in addition there's a QR code that can be scanned by your smartphone or other device. Um, it'll take you directly to this video um, for future reference. So let's go ahead and uh, detach the template and um, We'll get ready to mount. Now before we mount, there's a couple tools you're going to need. Um, you're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver, a tape measure, and a step ladder or chair or something safe to stand on when you're mounting uh, to the ceiling. Alright, with that in mind, let's, uh, let's find a good spot. Now when it comes to, uh, to mounting your ruler board, you need to find a good location. The board is mounted five feet up, uh, the hook is, or the ceiling screw is mounted five feet back, so there's a, you know, a space needed of about 10 to 12 feet in order to uh, have the right dimensions. Now if you don't have the right amount of space, you can always um, shorten the string length, which obviously drops the pendulum length and you can be a little bit closer. Um, so let's go ahead and measure 5 feet with the template and uh, begin the mounting process. So I'm just going to use the tape measure and find my, find my 5 foot line and make sure that that line is lined up perfectly with that. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to hold the mounting template in place at that uh, position to ensure that the, uh, the hook itself um, on the board will be in the right spot. I'm then going to take the first screw and Place it within the circle, preferably in the center, and screw it in. Now in the instructions it mentions that you should screw the, the, the screw in until the uh, first thread, um, or the last thread is flush with the wall, but you actually might want to screw it in a little bit further. Farther it'll um, bring the board in, make it a tighter fit. Uh, here with this particular mount, um, with the siding, we actually have to leave quite a bit, quite a bit out, uh, just so that the board can you know, lay flat on, on the uh, siding. All right, so we've got the first one mounted. So now I'm going to kind of eyeball the uh, the alignment, try and get it as uh, you know level as possible, and then I'm going to mount the second screw. Which, take the second screw, and we're going to go right in the center of this hole. Okay, now the next step is to screw your hook into the board. This gets screwed in until the last thread is flush with the board itself so that the end of the hook is not sticking out, you know, damaging the wall or, or whatever. Um, so once you have that in place, the hook should open to the sky. Um, and. Uh, and go ahead and remove the template. And mount the board. And just like that, your ULA board is in place. Okay, now we're going to move into putting the ceiling screw in place. So again, for this, you're going to need a stepladder, a chair, something safe to stand on. Be careful. Um, to use our tape measure. The great thing about this game is that you know it, it can be rough. It doesn't have to be exactly five and exactly five. So we're just gonna do our best to uh, 
get it as close as possible. So I'm just going to measure out. Kind of pick a spot up there, all right, and screw my ceiling hook into the ceiling in line with the hook itself so that when the string is attached, it's, you know, more or less perfectly in line. Um, if it's off a little bit, that's okay. It just makes a little difference in how you throw. But we'll get to that in a second. So I'm going to screw this in. You don't have to go all the way, maybe again, just to where the uh, last thread meets the ceiling. Once that's in place, we can grab our string that has the uh, amulet. And I'm just going to untie this, unravel it. This string is, is brand new, so uh, as you'll see, it's a uh, just needs a little bit of action and it'll be ready to go. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the amulet itself, we're going to place it on the hook, and then we're going to string, string up through the ceiling hook and pull it so that the amulet is approximately parallel with the ground. So you have a nice now that's that's about that's about it right there, and we're just going to tie that off. And you can use you know whatever knot you'd like here, overhand, you know, whatever's whatever's easiest. And this can always be adjusted. And then once you have it in place, um, you can either cut off the extra or, you know, just maybe wrap it around the ceiling in case you ever need, need to make uh, an adjustment. Okay, so now you've effectively set up your ruler board and now it's time to uh, test it out and see, uh, see how it goes. So you come back about, you know, 10 feet or so until uh, the string itself is top and uh, prefer to kind of arc it a little bit left or right, doesn't really matter. There you go. You can find out more information at uh, ulerboard.com or uh, check us out on Facebook or Twitter. And uh, don't forget to tag hashtag Ruderboard when you're on Facebook or Twitter. Join the conversation. Let us know how it's going and uh, you know what you think of it. Uh, thank you.